What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo-wee. I hope everybody is blessed. Hope everybody is doing good. Hope everybody is doing excellent and everything. But real quick, you guys, and everything. If you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you. God cares about you. Catch your cares on Jesus because he loves you and everything. Jesus died so we can live and everything. He's the real Messiah. He's the real king. Okay? It's not no religion. Everything. He's the real deal. Excuse me. And everything. And he loves you and he cares about you. And cast your cares on him and everything because he does love you. You're going through a bad, excuse me, you're going through a bad time in life and everything. And you just feel like hey, everywhere you turn is a problem. Like nothing can seem to go right and everything. Talk to the Heavenly Father about it. God loves you and everything, okay? Whatever you're struggling, whatever you're dealing with and everything, God going to bring you out of it. Whatever the financial situation, if you're a single parent mother, trying to figure out how you're going to feed your kids and everything, God will make a way, okay? Jesus would do anything but fail. He loves you and he cares about you and he's concerned about you and everything. Keep your head up. Keep your drive alive. You keep your dream alive. Never give up on your dream. No matter who walk away from you in life and everything, Jesus and the Heavenly Father would never walk away from you. They will stay with you and they will ride with you to the end. That's how they are. God and Jesus love you and they're the real deal. Okay? Also, and everything, if you lost a loved one and everything, understand they're in a better place. They're in heaven, in the arms of Jesus and everything. And as long as you keep the faith, you will see them one day. Alright? So keep put a smile on your face. God got a blessing for you and everything. I call you blessed right now, even my enemies. I call you blessed right now. I call you healed. Whatever you're fighting with, whatever disease you're fighting with, I call you healed right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, you guys. If your first time tuning in to my channel, please understand something. I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. Okay? I'm here to be honest with you. I'm here to be real with you. Okay? This is unedited and uncut. Okay? Also, and everything, this is nothing written down. I ain't got nothing, no tablet, nothing nobody gave me. This is not rehearsed, okay? This is not a prank either. This is me being real with you and everything. From my, Coming from my heart to you and everything. Also, I'm not here to judge you, okay? I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I have no heaven and hell to put you in. I'm not here to point the finger at you. I'm not here to make fun of you. But what I am to here to do is to challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. When you know better, you should do better, okay? Somebody said some negative to you about my channel, please tell them to go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for negativity. If you don't want to hear it, take your ass on. And everything, I ain't got time for it and everything. I ain't spitting no bullshit on here. I'm spitting real shit. If you don't think it's real, get to stepping. Plain and simple. I'll say that arrogantly. I'll say that, I'll say that in really. Or in reality. <clears throat> you want to hear bullshit, you're on the wrong channel. If you want to hear uh, real shit, you're on the right channel. Okay, you guys. Topic of conversation is today. It is called You say good night to your dreams, but you say hello to your reality. Okay? I say it again. You say good night to your dreams, but you say hello to your reality. You guys, let me say something to y'all and tell you guys straight up and everything. Stop believing every damn thing you hear from people and particularly these ignorant ass politicians. These are uh, some of these, not all, not all, but some of these damn policemen and everything. Some are family members, some friend, everything. Stop leaving this is every damn thing you hear. Okay? Please stop. If God himself ain't telling you that and everything, stop believing every damn thing you hear. First and foremost and everything, one of the biggest problems I have with this country in particular and everything as it relates to people and everything, it's a false sense of security. People is, is better in believing and everything, if they get in trouble, okay, if they get in trouble, just call 911 and 9 the police will solve all their damn problems. If you ain't figured this out by now, it's a bunch of damn bullshit, okay? You got to understand something, you guys, and everything. Reality is exactly what it is. It's reality, okay? Now, your dream, you know, go up in a nice area. Tomorrow you start off and everything from a child up. Grow up in a nice area, same mom, same dad, nice place, you know, good money, graduate from high school, go off to college, 
marry somebody real nice and friendly, and you know, chuckle, chuckle, chuckle through life, or whatever the case may be, and everything. That's not reality for a lot of people. And the thing that you guys got to understand is, and everything, even on some college campuses that you see nowadays and everything, people are getting shot and killed. People are getting, women are getting raped. People are getting murdered and everything. People are coming up missing. I'm saying this to tell you guys and everything. When you going to wake up and stop relying on somebody else to protect you? Okay? That's really, really what I'm getting at and everything. Learn how to protect yourself. Get out of this damn bullshit. I don't live my life like that. Oh, I don't want to hang around people like that. Dumbass, you don't have to. I keep telling you and everything. You ain't got to be no thug. You ain't got to be no criminal. You ain't got to be no game banger. You ain't got to be no hitter. You ain't got to be none of that shit and everything for somebody to come up and start messing with you. Try to pick a fight with you and everything. And something else and everything. People don't fight no more, y'all. People carry guns. You got kids as young as 11 carry guns, maybe even younger, that carry guns and will shoot you just as if, like, they don't care. That's why I don't play basketball and stuff like that. Right? Ain't no because nobody afraid. You guys know my channel. You should know me by now. I ain't afraid of nothing but Jesus. It's not a tough guy talking. I'm just telling you what's reality. I've been in many areas, whether they the hood, whether they uh, a prejudice area, whatever and everything. I've been by myself and still made it out. So I'm telling you and everything, your safety is your responsibility, not America's responsibility, not society's responsibility, not the police's responsibility. It is your responsibility. Okay? If you're a young lady and everything and you're getting in from college or whatever the case may be, excuse me, you're going back home or whatever, whatever you got going on everything, your safety is your responsibility. Stop putting faith in another human being to protect you. That's your responsibility. See, a lot of, a lot of, see, the problem is a lot of y'all ain't, not all, not all, I'm only talking to the ones that apply to, a lot of y'all and everything ain't had to deal with certain stuff. Because a lot of, some of y'all wouldn't have grew up like that. And gave the community and everything. And I'm not knocking you for that. I'm not knocking you at all for that. But you got to understand everything. It's a real world out here. You got to learn to adapt. I didn't say become of the world to my quote my quote unquote Christian people. I'm saying everything you gotta learn to adapt to the world. That's something I learned to do. If you know and everything, you going in a certain area and everything, why the hell you ain't got no damn heat with you? How you go out the house and everything, you don't have a strap with you. And when just cause you carry a gun don't mean you a criminal. Just cause you carry a gun mean you use it cause somebody says something out of pocket with you. That's not right, you guys. Use your firearm and everything to protect yourself if somebody is threatening your life. Just because somebody call you out your name and everything don't mean you grab a gun and go shoot them. I keep telling you and everything. When have you ever seen my ass anywhere in the news shooting or hurting or harming or hurting somebody? I ain't saying they don't deserve it, but you ain't never seen my ass in no news. And I'm just telling you and everything. Your safety is your responsibility. It's the real world, people. I understand, excuse me, I understand and everything. You may say, well, Brandon, I'm Christian. And I want to live holy and I want to do right and everything. I'm going to tell your ass straight up and everything. Just because the very fact that you're trying to live right, the very fact and everything that you're trying to do what Jesus called you to do and everything, that puts you as an enemy to Satan. And he has a bullseye on your damn head. Okay? You're going to be the very damn one he's going to try to take out. And the only point, he gonna, remember, he can't take you out himself. He got to get into somebody, an animal, or some old prejudiced cop, or, or, or some old ignorant family member, or, or so-called friend, or somebody get mad at you because they think you cut them off in line or cut them off on the road or something. Only thing I'm telling you and everything, your safety is your priority. That's the number one priority and everything, especially the one I have. You may tell me you're trying to live holy. You better pray your ass don't get filled with holes. Because people are shooting people inside God's house. Look how many church shootings we didn't have. So I'm just telling you and everything. I'm not promoting violence. I'm not promoting any. I'm promoting you protect your damn self. Get out of this damn shit and everything. Oh, it won't happen out here. Oh, it won't happen in my community. Oh, we don't live our lives like that and everything. Pull your head out of your ass. Look at the damn news. Most people who have gotten shot and killed, they didn't live like that either. 
They don't know what, what, what a hustle is. Or they don't know nothing about that. Cut the drop for y'all. Try to act hood and everything. Just drop the damn facade. Drop the damn act. Any real person, any real man or woman can see straight through that bullshit or smoke screen you putting in front of them. I keep trying to tell you and everything. There's real shit out here. I'm trying to tell you that. You got people out here and everything who try to kill you over the most simple and most minorest things. They take something to make a mountain out of a mole. So I'm just letting you know and everything. Your safety is your priority. Quit depending on the police to protect you. Quit, pretend, quit uh, depending on everything society to protect you. Especially if your ass is black. What you doing? You ain't got a, a lot of people, have, like I said, have asked me everything. What you need with a gun on you for? Why you carry guns and everything? You don't. You want to know why I carry guns, uh, ma'am or sir? Watch the damn news. And you will find an answer somewhere. People nowadays and everything, you ain't even got to know them. Don't owe them no money. Ain't never bothered them or heard from them or met them before in their life. And here they come messing with you. And you know and everything, particularly as a black man and everything, you know damn well certain areas in this damn country. If you get caught by yourself, you ain't got no damn heat. Ugh. Good luck getting out. Good luck, good, good luck getting home alive. I don't care if you man or woman. Good luck. And you know some of these hoods you go to and everything, you wearing the wrong colors and everything, they may think your ass the enemy and try to pop your ass. So I'm just trying, I'm telling you what's real. So I'm just telling you and everything. All these people who gun hating people, or guns are barbaric, oh, well, I don't live my life, then you better get your head out your ass. That ain't real life. That's not real life. When you travel out here on this on the country, you travel out here on the road, particularly as a truck driver, you can sit and tell me all day long what you don't need. You didn't have to carry a gun and everything. You was, hey, that's your ass. I, I can't speak for your experience. I can speak for mine. I'm glad I carried me a gun with me. Carried multiples of them. Because people don't fight no more. People take something small and grow it in something big. I'm keep trying to tell you, I done had the explain to a few people out here i had to so i'm just letting you know and everything this is the real deal y'all i know you want to you like i said you want to you know get this false sense of security if i dial 911 i'm gonna be just fine somebody chasing after me with a knife and i'm a woman i'm gonna be just fine if i dial 911 they'll be here to save the day like superman bullshit what world what, what reading them damn marvel magazines that ain't real life. Superman ain't coming down in to save your ass. If you don't have you way to, a ways of fighting back and everything, you're going to be just another dead person. Get shit right and everything. Ladies and everything. And if you're getting off work and you know there are other people that work with you and everything, if you, again, if you don't want to carry no gun and everything, I keep telling you that mace and that uh, pepper spray, a little stun gun you have, that only will work for close combat. Well, somebody's right up on you. But what happens in everything is somebody point a gun at you and force you into a car. And you about know what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to rape you. And after they rape you, nine times out of ten, they're going to kill you. Or dump your ass somewhere. So I'm just trying to tell you in everything. Guns are an essential tool in today's world. Learn how to use one. Learn how to carry one. Learn which kind of gun is good for you. I just don't want you to get hurt out here. I don't care if you're man or woman. You can sit here and tell me, well, I'm trained in Taekwondo. I'm trained in Karate and everything. That ain't going to mean shit. Somebody stick a damn 40 caliber in your face. That all that kind of fool, what the, ah, that shit ain't going to mean nothing. Because all they're going to say, well, we ain't got time for this. Pow, you dead. <laughs> so I'm just telling you and everything. Another thing, I said this before. Never take your eyes off somebody that you are arguing with. You understand me? Never take your eyes off somebody that you are arguing with. That's the one of the worst things you can do. And something else, if you are arguing with somebody and you got your eyes on them, the minute their hands disappear, like go behind their back or in their jacket or in their pocket and everything, that's a threat. You better be prepared to use deadly force. I didn't say use deadly force. I said be prepared in case you have to. When your hands disappear, 
when a person's hands disappear that you are arguing with or you are feeling with and everything, who knows what's in their pocket? You know they ain't pulling out no damn Bible. They ain't pulling out no damn uh, juice or iced tea. Nine times out of ten, they're going to be pulling out a gun. I'm just trying to tell you I don't want you to get messed up out here, man or woman. It's the real world, baby. We ain't in heaven yet. Jesus ain't came down here yet. It ain't no damn religion. I'm just trying to tell you in everything. People don't fight no more. You can go to boxing, do all this shit and everything. That don't mean nothing. Somebody got a gun standing there holding up, at, holding it to you. I'm just telling you. You may know how some disarmaments. I know some disarmaments and everything, but that shit only work and everything if you're close, close, you no know, close in contact with somebody. And another thing, and everything. Always be aware of your your environment. Pay attention to your environment. Pay attention to your type of terrain you have. Understand something. If you find yourself into a gunfight and everything, know how to get cover. Cover and concealment are two different things. Cover, you ain't got to worry about getting hit. Concealment and everything, you just shield yourself and everything from the attacker. But you still have the potential to get hit. But you got to make sure you have your weapon with you. Guns are, are not the issue. It's the way people are using guns. It's guns is the problem. But in today's world, you guys, guns are an essential tool. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to get innocently killed for no reason. Young lady, I don't want some stupid dude walk up and say, get your ass in this car. Your ass finna get raped. You finna ride with us. What you gonna do? You gonna karate chop him? You gonna karate kick him? I'm just saying. What you gonna do? What about you, my brother? You walking down the street, minding your damn business, talking on your phone. Next thing you know, two or three damn niggas jump out the car and everything, and now they got a gun on you. I'm telling you real life. I just see, this, this, what people don't understand, what I'm describing to you don't just happen in the hood. The shit is starting, it's now it's starting to venture out and everything, and it's happening to suburbs and these so-called gated communities. A lot of people figure because they live in gated communities, they won't be subjected and everything to, uh, to deal with that. I keep it, I've said it once, I said it again. Who the hell gonna rob a broke nigga? If you ain't got no money, if you ain't got a pot to piss in and win to throw it out of, who gonna rob you? Who gonna rob you? You ain't got no dollars in your pocket, nothing. If Who gonna rob you? If a, if a criminal gonna rob you and everything, odds are and everything, you got something that he won't. You got that brand new Tesla you roll up in here. You got all these damn chains and necklaces and everything. You, first of all, what the hell you need all that shit for anyway? What you need all these chains and necklaces and earrings and stuff? What you need all that shit for? What you need it for? All that needs is number to waste of money. Come on, you got all this ice on you and everything. Ice my ass. So I'm just telling you and everything. Well, see, you flashing. You got to be careful. That's something else and everything. A lot of people, they flash you nowadays. They got to be flash money. Never, ever count your money in public. Never do that. Always watch your surroundings, men and women. I ain't say be paranoid. I said watch your surroundings. Watch when you, if you go to ATM at night, everything, you have somebody with you that's packing some heat. As many times I went to the uh, bank or ATM and everything at, uh, late at night and everything with my uh, parents or with a brother or with a niece or something and everything, you better believe I'm packing two or three deep. At least. You may say, oh, it don't take all that. What you need a gun for? Again, dumbass, watch the damn TV. Did you watch the news? Did you hear five, six people just got shot nearby this bank? Did you hear the damn bank itself got robbed? Where have you been? This ain't the damn Matrix. This is real life. Okay, we're not actors. All right? So I'm just telling you and everything. You got to be safe out here. Not stupid. You got to be safe. Get this shit out your damn head and everything. 911 is the magic number. Oh, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's dumbass nigga who finna get shot. Superman ain't coming down to save your ass. Get out of that shit. It's up to you and everything to all be safe. It's up to you to protect your family. It's up to you to protect your kids. I'm just being real with you. You may think I'm bull you may think I'm bullshitting if you want to and everything. I ain't never been robbed. I ain't never been jumped. I ain't never been beat up. I ain't never been left for dead. I ain't never had excuse me, everything. I had a crowd, everything, that tried to come after me and everything, but they got the message after I got out the uh vehicle and what I had some in my hand. 
You don't think this shit gonna happen? I ain't no criminal, I ain't no thug. I ain't never smoked a drink in my life and everything. Never been in trouble with the law. Believe me or not, it's up to you. I'm stating facts. Now, I ain't gonna worry about some asshole opinion. I'm stating facts. I'm just telling you and everything. You want to be safe out here. You want to get back home the same way you left and everything. Be on guard. Pay attention to your surroundings. Get out of that damn phone. Pay attention. No excuse. I'm just letting you know it and everything. Watch where you park at at night. Watch where you come in at night. Watch where you're going in the daytime. Check to see if somebody's following you. I'm just telling you, you got to check this stuff. Don't give me this, like I said, don't give me this shit. Oh, it don't happen out here. You know, if I get in trouble, I just call 911. What happens if 911 get, you don't get there in time? And now your dumb ass is dead. Then what? And truthfully speaking, and we gonna be honest, every time the police get there, the only thing they can do is just sort shit out. They can't say nobody like us. Little Joe dead, little Brittany got raped. What are they doing? They're gonna sort out, sort out stuff. It's up to you to protect yourself. Please do not let, you can vote all you want to, vote on this bill, vote on that bill and everything. It is your responsibility to protect yourself. Your responsibility, not the police, not your homeboy, it's your responsibility. Because what happens if you can't get to the police? What happens if you can't get to your homeboy? What happens if you can't get to your family? Then what do you do? What happens if you find yourself in an area that's not necessarily friendly to you and everything? They don't care if you're man or woman, black or white. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Like I said before and everything, somebody break into your house and everything, what you gonna do? All this bullshit, talking about gun, this, gun, that, everything, what you gonna do? Somebody break in the house, and you heard me say this before, somebody break in the house saying, I'm coming to kill you, your kids, your husband, your wife, your mama, and whoever else is in this house. What you gonna do? You gonna call 911? Tell me. Like I said, I throw bullshit out the window real quick. Because I understand what type of world I live in. I throw bullshit out the window. What you gonna do? Any, any uh, normal human being would say, I'll be grabbing me some damn, grab me a gun and defend myself and my family. That's what the hell you supposed to do. That's what we got the Second Amendment for. So I'm just letting you know and everything. Please get out of this shit you keep hearing on the news and people talking about all oh, guns or this. Oh, we need to take the guns back and everything. Bullshit. Only thing these damn politicians, I don't care if they Democrat or Republican, I ain't neither one. They want to take your guns away from legally armed citizens and everything. So we so uh you can get these criminals and these damn politicians to all uh, power over you because whoever has the gun make the rules. That's the only reason why they, they every time a shooting happens, they want to play on people's emotions. Don't get it twisted and everything. I'm not by no means being naive or foolish of the fact that innocent people are getting killed. But ask yourself in this and everything in mass shootings. How many people around got a gun when a dude go crazy? When a man or woman go crazy through these mass shootings and everything, how many people around got a gun? You figure and everything, oh, if you got a gun on you should be a cop. If you got a gun, you should be uh, ex-military or something. Not true. Not true. If you have a legal right to bear arms, bear it. I'm just telling you. Protect your life. Protect your kid's life. Protect your mom and dad, your daughter and son. That is your responsibility. If they're not able to protect themselves, then you protect them. But get out of this false sense of security and everything. Think, oh, if I get in trouble, just dial 911. If I get in trouble and everything, just get it to a large group of people and everything. What's wrong with people? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? People don't care nothing about that shit nowadays. It ain't just niggas doing killing this Klansmen too. Let's get that shit right. You got Klansmen, you got police and niggas killing each other. So I don't want to hear that. I ain't segregating no group. And we all do dumb shit. We're going to keep shit real. And I'm just telling you and everything to keep from being a victim and everything. Start carrying. Carrying legal. Get proper training. You know the rules. Know the laws. Because I don't want you to be another statistic out here. Please don't think for one second I ain't had nobody come at me wrong. Please don't think I'm some damn Tom sitting here talking to you. Reading out of a damn book and everything. The laws of being said. I ain't doing no bullshit like that. You should know my channel by now. I'm telling you real life. 
like I always do on every video. It is your job to protect yourself, not society. Society, society running around here talking about security and everything. If that was the case and everything, explain to me what took them punk-ass policemen over an hour to run in that school and everything to save those kids while they were being shot and killed down in San Antonio. So you explain that to me. Normally, when a police hear gunfire, they're going to engage who's ever doing the firing. Normally, or they're going to come running. You got kids getting killed, kids calling in to the police station asking for help. You have parents trying to get in the school, trying to save the kids, and the police officer up and arresting them. Put your faith in cops if you want to to protect your life. You a black man or black woman talking about thinking a cop won't protect your life. You must got your damn sickness crossed. You show sure enough a house, nigga. Because I be damned. I be depending on that. I'm just telling you guys, be safe out here. I ain't bullshitting you. Be safe out here. It's the real world. We ain't in heaven yet. We ain't in heaven. We ain't got there yet. It's the real world. Wake up.